budget and budgetary control. So first of all, we have to understand what is budget. So first of all, we take our house from our house. एक छोटा सा एग्जांपल ताकि हमें आइडिया आए कि बजट क्या होता है तो देखो सभी की फैमिली में एक फिक्स इनकम होती है कोई बिजनेस करता है कोई जॉब करता है तो हर महीने में हमें कितना एक्सपेंसेस होने वाला है उसका एक लिस्ट हमारे माइंड में होता है या तो बहुत सारे लोग उसको रिटर्न में रखते हैं जैसे कि जुलाई मंथ आने वाला है तो मुझे पता है जुलाई मंथ में मेरी इनकम क्या होने वाली है what will be my income if i am the salary person then i know what will be the salary i am going to receive apart from that if i have made some investment so from that investment what amount i am going to receive that also i know so keeping in my mind the expected income which is going to be received in the next month what i will do i will plan out my expenses we will prepare the list of the various expenses which we have to pay out of the available income. Say for example, what amount we will give for household requirement to purchase the provisions which we require at our home. What amount we will keep for the children's school fees. What amount we require for the fuel charges for the vehicles which we are using and there is a list of uh, expenses which you all know well which we have to pay in day-to-day -day life so budget is nothing but budget is the one statement which we prepare for expected income and the expected expenditure and we note down it in a return form. So before that particular month comes, we plan out that will be our expected income and that would be our expected expenditure. So that statement is known as budget. Likewise, household government also prepare budget we all are aware that every year in the month of February or March, government declares budget. And in that budget, government uh, declares the sources of revenue for the government from where the government is going to recover different types of revenue, like revenue from the tax and other revenues like penalties received from the public, different department income, that will be the total revenue. And the what amount will be spent on different uh, developmental expenditure. Say for example, expenditure behind the social infrastructure, expenditure behind different types of developmental activities. So that statement is known as budget. So I think you must have understood what is budget. Now we are going to the meaning on the budget. So budget is nothing but budget is an accounting plan. And this plan is expressed in monetary terms. In budget, we saw the figures. We saw the amount in rupees. So it is presented in the monetary terms. And budget is prepared well in advance. So it is said that budget is a statement of expected income and expected expenses. Future income or future expense ka ek statement jise budget kaha jata hai. Similar type of budgets are prepared in the business organizations also. They prepare budget for the different activities. Say for example, production budget. So in the production budget, uh, what businessmen will do? They will uh, prepare a statement of expected output, expected requirement uh, in the coming months or for the coming years 
of the product which they are manufacturing and the expected production which they are going to make in the particular month. So that is a production budget. Likewise, sales budget. So there are different types of budget. One budget is a cash budget in which uh, we record expected cash inflow in the coming months and expected cash outflow. That means the different likely expenses which we have to pay. So that is a cash budget. So budget is always prepared for the future. And that's why it is said, it is quantified plan because it is measured in terms of quantity, maybe in the rupees, maybe in the units, and it is for future activities. So it is said, budget is a quantitative blueprint of your future action. So this is a simple meaning of the budget. When meaning of the budget is asked, you can write these four lines. Now some information is given. Why budget is prepared? So budget we prepare so that we can put control on our expenses. We know that we have the fixed income. And from that fixed income, we have to pay out different types of expenses. So if well in advance, if we have prepared the budget, so we can put control on our expenses. Now the meaning and definition of the budget. According to Chartered Institute of Management Accountant, United Kingdom, they have given one definition of budget. A budget is a quantified in monetary terms, prepared and approved prior to a defined period of time. So it is in monetary terms. And after preparing the budget, it is approved by the authority, whoever is the authority, higher level authority. Usually it is showing plan income, expected income in the future to be generated and the expenditure to be incurred during that particular period. And also the capital to be employed by the businessman, by the owner to achieve a particular objective. So, so many things are covered in this uh, definition. It is always in the monetary terms. It is for the future. It is showing the plan income, budgeted income. It is showing the budgeted expenditure. It is for a particular period of time. And it also includes the capital which will be invested by the owner so that he can achieve his objective. Few more definitions are also given for budget. A budget is a plan of action to achieve objectives based on predetermined series of related assumptions. One more definition is given by GA Wells. A budget is a written plan covering projected activities like projected income, projected expenditure of the firm for a definite period of time. Maybe for one year, maybe for one month, or maybe for six months. So budget may be prepared for any period of time. So based on this, we can uh, list out uh, some of the characteristics of the budget. This type of question can be asked you in a four marks. So what are the features? What are the characteristics of budget? You can check your assignment. You may find this type of question there. So based on definition, you can write down the characteristics. So first point says that budget is a forecasting and controlling device. See in budget, we anticipate in advance. We think in advance that what will be the likely income and what will be the likely expenditure, what will be the likely production, what will be the likely sales, Keeping in mind different types of budget, we anticipate the future. So we forecast. Forecasting means anticipating in advance. And why we are anticipating in advance? 
when the actually that income will come or that expenditure when we will make at that time we can put control that this was our plan if we will deviate from our plan then it will create problem so it helps to put control on our expenses if it is a production budget and suppose you have prepare a production budget based on your sales forecasting you you estimated that in the coming year in the coming month say, say for example there would be the demand for 1 lakh units that is your estimation of sales so accordingly you will plan out your production now if you will make the more production then there will be the overstocking if your production would be less then there would be the shortage of goods in the market and you will not generate the revenue because of the shortage of goods so budget helps us to put control that how many units we have to manufacture there should not be the over manufacturing over production else what will happen our capital would remain invested in that and there would be no demand for the goods there will be overstocking so this type of problems can be avoided by preparing a budget it is prepared in advance before the actual operation of the company so in a simple word we can say that we prepare budget today for the future so it is connect its connection is with definite future period for the coming month for the coming year for the coming 6 month and before implementation it is approved by the management whatever would be the authority that authorized person will approve it and if there are necessary corrections he will suggest budget also shows the capital to be employed during the coming period if the expected projected income is less than the projected expenditure then some additional money is required so how owners will contribute by providing the capital that is also shown in the budget so this was all about the budget now moving towards the next topic that is the budgetary control and this is our main topic actually budgets are prepared so that we can put control on the operations so budgetary control is a method of managing cost through preparation of budget so if you want to put control then first of all you must have prepared the budget and as i told you there are different types of budget for different activities you can prepare the budget for sales sales budget for cash inflow and outflow cash budget for production production budget different types of budgets are there so for that activity budgets are prepared and we can control our cost budgeting is thus a part of the budgetary control according to cima what is budgetary control budgetary control is the establishment of budgets that means preparing the budgets relating to the responsibilities of the of executive of a policy and the continuous comparison of the actual plan with the budgeted result either to secure by individual action that is to achieve by the individual person the objective of the policy or to provide a basis for revision like uh, features of budget now we will understand the features of budgetary control that is the characteristics of budget more or less they are similar so the first feature of budgetary control is for budgetary control first of all we have to prepare the budget so the first point is preparation of budget for each purpose of the business for each activity of the business we have to prepare a budget i correlate this with the education sector also before going in the classroom a teacher has to prepare a lesson plan and in the lesson plan he men mentions what uh, topics he is going to cover 
on a particular day in a particular class and within how many lectures or classes he is going to complete the particular chapter so this is prepared well in advance before the beginning of the session so that is also one type of budget but here we are talking about the number of lectures and here we in budget we are talking about the number of units to produce and also it is presented in monetary terms likely income likely expenditure revision of budget in view of changes in conditions second feature of budgetary control is as per the requirement necessary changes are made in the budget say for example we estimated that in the coming year there would be the demand of 1 lakh 20 thousand units each month there would be the demand of 10 thousand unit that was our expectation and as per that we prepare the production budget that every month we will produce one uh, 10 thousand units because sales will be of 10 thousand unit every month it was estimated later on it is found that no doubt our estimation was of 1 lakh 20 thousand unit for the coming year and accordingly, we plan that 10,000 unit every month. But maybe possible, there may be some month in which there, there will be the demand, higher demand because of the seasonal factors or because of the festivals, etc. So in, in our budget, we have to make the necessary changes that in a particular month, if there is a more demand, then well in advance, we have to produce more unit. Then in some months, we will not produce only 10,000 unit. Rather, we will give more output, taking the overtime, because in particular month, there would be the more demand. So budget is revised also, keeping in mind the changing conditions. Now you have, you have to put a control. So what you will do, when the actual performance is done, when the actual output is done, when the actual expenditures are paid, Thereafter, you will compare what was your plan and what is the reality. So comparison is required. You will compare your actual performance with your budget. So that you will come to know that where are deviations. Kaha differences are hai. Aur jahan pe difference are hai, toh uske reasons kya hai. Say for example, we prepare the cash budget, household budget, and in that we plan that in a particular month, my expenditure would be of 30,000 rupees in that month. But in reality on that month, it, it happened that you have to incur the expenditure of 40,000. Instead of 30, the expenditure came of 40,000, 10,000 more. So here you will find out why it happened, why we have incurred more expenses. So you will come to know that there were some expenses which were not projected and in emergency they came out. So this type of comparison will help you help us to find out the deviations and what we will do, we will do the suitable corrective actions, remedial actions. So budgetary control helps us to take corrective or remedial actions when necessary. So in the next year, when we will prepare the budget, we will also keep in mind such unanticipated expenditure. So that is the thing last is given analysis of the variations, deviations, why the difference came in the actual performance from the budgeted performance. And we will try to know the reasons thereof. So these are the features of the budgetary control. Now moving towards the next topic, uh, objectives of preparing, objectives of budgetary control. Why budgetary control is necessary? See, controlling is one, one of the aspect of management. We know that management is planning, organizing, directing and controlling. So here in this chapter of financial management, sorry, in this chapter of cost and management accounting, See, we are not learning only the cost. We are also learning the management aspect. And management is a wider approach. Cost and management is one of the part of management. So objective of budgetary control is to put control. But for putting control, you have to first plan out. Because when we talk about planning, 
then planning includes all these activities. So objectives of budgeting are summarized as follows. The first objective of budgetary control is planning. Now what is planning? We all know planning means deciding in advance. Planning means deciding the future course of action. What you are going to do in future that you plan out today, that is planning. So planning has been defined as the design of, for a, of a desired future position for an entity and it resets and it rests on the belief that the future position can be attained by uninterrupted management action if we have planned out properly. Agar sahi se planning kiya hai, the future may have problem nahi hai. Detailed plans relating to the production, that means how many units will be produced, sales, what amount of unit, what amount of goods will be sold, raw material, what amount of raw material will be required for the production, how many labors will be required, capital requirement, all these things are planned out in advance. By planning, many problems estimated long before they arise and solution can be thought of through careful study. So, if you are planning, then you will know that we have to do so much production in this month, then there will be so much requirement of raw material, so much requirement of raw material, so much requirement of labor, so you can do it in advance. So, in short, budgeting forces the management to think ahead. You have to think in advance. You have to foresee, that means you have to forecast, and prepare for anticipated condition. दो तरह की conditions होगी एक तो anticipated मतलब जो हमें पता है कि होने वाला है और unanticipated मतलब ऐसा जो नहीं हो सक होने वाला है पर हो जाता है. So budget be prepared keeping in mind the anticipated conditions, expected. When actual thing will come then we will also come across unanticipated things. So in the next budget, we will revise it and we will consider them also. So planning is a constant process since it requires constant revision with changing conditions. So for budgetary control, the first thing you require is planning. Now see, we are talking about the entire organization. All the departments are correlated with each other. Production department को purchase department की जरूरत पड़ेगी because production department required material and that material is procured purchased by the purchase department. Purchase department needs the account department because whatever items they want to purchase that will be financed by the account department. Production department also has has to work with the human resource department. Because the labor requirement will be fulfilled by the human resource department. So all the departments have to work in coordination. Then only overall objective of the organization can be achieved. So budgeting control also focuses on the co coordination. Coordination becomes possible because of budgeting. So budgeting plays a significant role in establishing and maintaining coordination. Budgeting helps managers in coordinating their efforts so that problems of the business are solved in harmony with the objectives of different departments or divisions. Efficient planning and business contribute a lot in achieving the targets. Ab apne coordination nahi kiya, man lo production department hai, Purchase department से coordinate नहीं करता है, account department से, human resource department से coordinate नहीं करता है, तो होगा क्या जब actually performance देना होगा, actual जरूरत होगी, तब problems आएगी. So to solve problems at the time of actual implementation, coordination is required. So यहाँ पे lack of coordination से क्या होगा वो बताया है? Lack of coordination मतलब coordinate नहीं किया आपने different department से different department के objectives को consider नहीं किया तो lack of coordination in an organization is observed when the department head is permitted to enlarge the department 
on the specific need of that department only. Although such development may negatively affect other departments and alter their performances. So coordination is required at all levels, vertical as well as horizontal. When we talk about the vertical level, that means they are talking about the lower level, middle level and top level. And when we are talking about the horizontal level, that means if I talk about the marketing department, then in marketing department also, there are so many sub departments. There may be the advertisement department. There may be the forecasting department. There may be the sales department under marketing department. So these all departments under one department are horizontally interrelated. So coordination is required for different departments then only budgetary control will get success. Measurement of success. Budgetary control se aap measure kar sakte ho ki aapne jo plan kiya hai aur aapne jo actually work kiya usse koi deviation aya kya aapne aapke objective achieve kiye ki nahi to aap apni success measure kar sakte ho. Department apni success measure kar sakta hai. An organization can measure the success of the entire organization. Just a government every year budget prepare karti hai. Us budget mein bahaus sari promises ki jati hai, bahaus sari cheeje plan out hoti hai ke ane wale saal mein ee ee cheeje karni hai. Phir jab saal khatam ho jata hai, to jo department hai unko dekhna hai ke this was our plan and what is the reality. So they can, they can check are they successful or still some improvement are needed? So budget pre pre present a useful means of informing managers how well they are performing in meeting targets which they have set in the budget that they have previously helped to set. In many companies, there is a practice of rewarding employees on the basis of their accomplished low budget target or promotion of a manager is linked to his budget success rate record. So this is about a motivation. Many companies motivate their employees if they have achieved the target, which was plan out. And in the low budget, they have achieved the targets. They are given the reward. They are given the promotion. They may be given the increment if they have achieved the targets. And if the targets are not achieved, then warnings are issued or they are said to need to improve the performance. If the budgets are very high set, then they are lower down. All these things are done. So success is determined by comparing the past performance with the previous period's performance. Budgetary control is a tool of motivation. It motivates the people who are working for that budget. Because in budget, targets are set, objectives are set. Now, accordingly, they have to achieve. So budget is always considered a useful tool for encouraging managers to complete things in line with the business objective. If individuals have intentionally participated in the preparation of budget, it acts as a strong motivation force to achieve the goals. If I have budget, so definitely, ये मेरा खुद का plan हो गया, तो फिर उस plan को achieve करने के लिए मैं efforts डालूगा. And that's why, when the budget is prepared by me, definitely I will try to achieve that budget. Definitely I will try to achieve the objectives which has been set in the budget. So it will motivate me, it will encourage me that this is my plan, I have to do it. I have to achieve this. So it is a tool of motivation. So we are learning different uh, features of budgetary control. The next feature is communication. See, when budgets are prepared, as I told you, there are different types of budgets and they are also sanctioned by the higher authority. Authorized person will sanction those budgets. In the budget, we set the standards. We decide in advance the standards to achieve, the objectives to be achieved. 
and these objectives are communicated to the departmental heads. So departmental head will work behind those objectives. So for success of your budgetary control, you need a proper communication. अब आप मान लो मेरे अंडर में काम कर रहे हो और मैंने आपको आपका टारगेट ही नहीं बताया आप जिस डिपार्टमेंट में हो उस डिपार्टमेंट के हेड को मैंने टारगेट ही नहीं दिया है कि आपको ये करना है सो डेफिनेटली यू आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट योर ऑब्जेक्टिव इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट ऑल द एम्प्लॉज आर इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रिपेयरिंग द बजेट सो मेनी टाइम इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट मेनी एम्प्लॉज आर नॉट अवेयर सो देर प्रॉपर कम्युनिकेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड so budget serves as a means of communicating information within a firm the standard budget copies are distributed to all management people provide not only sufficient understanding and knowledge of the program and guidelines to be followed but also give knowledge about the restrictions to be kept in mind so communication is required for the successful implementation of budget and success of the budgetary control system last the name itself suggests by preparing budget we are trying to put control so it is one of the technique of controlling so control is essential to make sure that plans and objectives laid down in the budget are being achieved main bahut baar bachcho ko bolta hu ki wo log apna study plan banaye और स्टडी प्लान के मुताबिक अपना स्टडी करें अभी कभी कभी बच्चे बहुत मोटिवेट हो जाते हैं और अपना स्टडी प्लान बना देते हैं कि फ्रॉम दिस डे आई विल गेट अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एट फाइव ओ क्लॉक आई विल रीड फ्रॉम फाइव टू सेवन फाइव टू एट इन द मॉर्निंग देन आफ्टर कमिंग फ्रॉम द कॉलेज इन द इवनिंग सिक्स टू एट आई विल रीड दिस टाइप ऑफ प्लान दे प्रिपेयर but when the actual implementation comes then there they may face some problem jaise ki subah mein jaldi uth hi nahi paaye plan to bana diya ki subah mein jaldi uth ke padhna hai par uth nahi paaye ya to koi aur reasons ho jayega shaam ko padhna hai college se aane ke baad to kuch ghar ka kaam aa gaya isliye padh nahi paaye kuch aur problems aa gaye so these things happen so control is essential to make sure that plans and objectives laid down in the budget are being achieved control when applied to budgeting as a systematized effort is to keep the management informed of whatever plan performance is being achieved or not so these were these are the objectives of budgetary control budgetary control is necessary for proper planning budgetary control is useful for coordination of different departments it is a tool to measure the success it is a tool to motivate the departmental head and the employees proper communication is required for its success and it is tool of control now advantages right now we are discussing the theoretical aspects of uh, budgetary control we have to also take uh, different types of budget and 